do you think that you will be together forever? I do. Absolutely. And I feel like she is exactly what I'm looking for. What's your name? Natalie. Natalie. You're from the States? I am. My name is Nicholas. I'm from New York, but I grew up in, in Latin America. Are you in a relationship or do you have any? I'm married. Oh, really? Yes. Can you tell me how the two of you met? We, uh, we both played basketball at university and we were part of the same club. I was the president of the men's side of the club and she was the president of the women's side of the club. I was working at a golf tournament um, for a hospital, it's a fundraiser, and he was golfing in the tournament. I'm a year older than her, so uh, when, uh, when she was in her first year at university, I was the social sack of the team, so I would make the parties and stuff for the club, and she came to one of the ones that I organized. So who made the, the first approach? He approached me um, on the second hole of the golf course and introduced himself and a few nights later called me to ask me on a date. She made the first move on me. She was in a relationship when I first met her. Really? And about four months into meeting her, I did not know that she was single. And she approached me in our student nightclub and wanted to dance with me. The conversation was really good. He had a lot to talk about. He was very polite. We ended up staying out for five hours when we were only supposed to meet for one drink. So I felt like that was a really good sign. I'm very attracted to her and I feel like at that point I was very happy that a, that a good looking girl wanted to dance with me. <laughs> I didn't really think much else of it at the time. He's a wonderful conversationalist. He asks a lot of questions. Um, we're from the same hometown and we had similar upbringings. We had a lot of similarities. Um, but also differences that were interesting. We kissed and then her friend actually came over and told me that she was still in a relationship, oh. which wasn't the case. So I felt like it wasn't right to, I, I sort of like walked away because I, I thought she was still in a relationship and it turns out that the friend was, uh, was wrong. So we ended up texting for a few weeks and then we, once I found out that she actually was properly single it sort of went from there. Did you know that the two of you were right for each other like straight away or no not at all. I had a good sense because we had a mutual um, contact in common who said really great things about him and um, I don't know we had a really great first date so I was open to going out again. It took me a couple of months to, to realize because once we sort of started seeing each other, we stopped for a bit and then we ended up starting again. And it was during that gap of when we were not seeing each other was when I realized um, how important she was to me. So what was it with her that made her be important? I would say we have most of our values in common. I think she's very intelligent. I think that she's incredibly disciplined and hardworking, and those are characteristics that I really admire about her. And I think, especially growing up in the same hometown, I had a decent idea of some things that would likely be important to him. I think she's very kind, loving, and giving as a person. She'll always put other people before herself, and she puts up with my shit, to be completely honest with you. Do you think that you will be together forever? I do. Absolutely. And I feel like she is exactly what I'm looking for. He's my favorite person <laughs> ever. I can't. I love it here, but I can't wait to go home because that's where he is. So, if you were to give any tips to a single person, what would you say? When you're single, play the play the field. Speak to as many people as possible. Maximize your chances of finding someone who you're gonna be happy with to have two or three non-negotiables, things that you will never settle on, and remember those as you're seeking out someone. So just because someone might be cute or funny, if they don't agree with your non-negotiables down the road, it won't work out. If you don't feel really satisfied being with someone, then don't be with that person. Pursue what makes you happy and don't be afraid of pursuing whatever that happens to be whatever traits or qualities, let them be physical or emotional. Make sure to find that in, in the other person and don't stop until you do.
I believe in love and I think sometimes there's bad news about divorce or breakups or people um, not being happy in relationship but I think if you really look around you'll see that um, there's a lot of good and people are really wonderful and there's a lot of love to give and to be had. My girlfriend and I are very different both in terms of backgrounds in terms of uh, yeah, so country, uh, religious backgrounds, racial backgrounds, socioeconomic backgrounds, like in every possible way we're completely different from each other and at least for us that's great because it's broadened my mind and I'm sure it's broadened hers as well and it's allowed us to look into the other person's world and to really complete ourselves 